I want to tell you a story about my early days when I learned about my own abilities. At the age of 19 years, I got an internship at the Taj Mahal Hotel in Bombay and my job was to work in the managing director's office to collect artwork for advertising that was coming in for a magazine they were running. It was a small coordinator's job. The managing director would call and his power and influence was so big that people would just give them the advertisements. And I would scurry along, collect the artwork and bring it back to be delivered. Sometimes I would intelligently ask the managing director, Sir, you're sending me to Vimal Fabrics. Quite close by is Reliance Fabrics. Would you be able to ask them for an ad as well? And so, in my own small way, I was able to add value to this project. The next summer, when the internship came up again, they called me back and offered me the same job. But by then, I had taken a French language class and I couldn't come back. So I handed over this job to my sister. My sister went on to work for Steve Jobs in the United States and I became an entrepreneur. We both often talk about this early experience that gave us the ability to know the real strength of young women. We come with three innate qualities and all we have to do is tap on them for our own growth and for the growth of those around us. First, we have the power of perfect speech. So if we can look at what to say, when to say and how to say it, then that is our innate quality that we can utilize for our success. The second is courage. Courage to be able to ask for what we want at the right time so that we receive it. And the third that we women have a lot of is intuitive intelligence. Sure, we are intelligent and so are men. But we have the additional dollop of intuition which tells us when things are perfect and when we need to fix something. So with these three innate qualities, we can really rule the world with women power.